Hello everybody and what with the Iron Banner starting tomorrow, I thought that this was a perfect time to give you guys my best Crucible PvP multiplayer setup that I use. So as I'm sure you guys all know if you've been watching my videos since the beginning of Destiny, since the freaking alpha, I'm all about the Crucible. It's what I enjoy the most. I of course enjoy the rest of the game. I love doing Nightfalls and getting nothing from them but i really really love the crucible i love the multiplayer in this game so i'm always trying to find the best setup and i honestly truly truly believe that i found the best setup for me for sure and for anyone that has a similar playstyle to me honestly even if you have a slightly different playstyle to me i think that you will find my setup that i like to use to be very useful for you guys when going into the crucible because these weapons are in my opinion the best weapons for the crucible in the game so you're gonna be watching me play gameplay of me using the actual entire class setup not just one gun not just two not just three I'm using all the guns that I say are awesome but I'm also wanting to show you guys in further detail the specifics the specific perks that I use on each of these guns and why I use them and why it makes them awesome. So this is the actual setup that I use. This is when I'm going full try hard mode. If I'm not using this, I'm not trying hard. So of course we have the last word, two to the morgue and against all odds. So let's start off by taking a look at the last word. For the perks, I use the very, very last one. And the reason that I use the last one is because it gives you the best impact. It gives you the most awesome impact. It reduces your stability, which we'll talk about fixing later, but it gives you the highest impact, which is what you want. More impact, less bullets to kill people. Killing people fast is always good. So I did mention that you, of course, are decreasing the stability. So you want to use perfect balance, which makes your stability super high. As you can see, if you don't have perfect balance, your stability is very low, which you don't want in a full auto weapon of any kind. You want it to be as stable as possible. Next, we're going to take a look at Two to the Morgue, which is a crucible weapon, which you can buy from the crucible vendor. And this is the exact weapon that you can buy from the crucible vendor. I didn't get it from a drop or anything like that. I purchased this one. So I use the first perk and I also use the second perk on the second tree to give it improved accuracy and range because you can actually get really good range with two to the morgue when you put this on it's like one of the best shotguns in terms of range in my opinion I'll talk more about it later but let's take a look at against all odds which is the heavy machine gun that you can buy from the crucible vendor I use the first perk and I also use the first perk on the second tree because this weapon has really bad stability like really really bad stability i've actually gotten three against all odds from random drops and stuff and i found that they did not have the stability perfect balance perk on them and you really do need it for against all odds because otherwise the stability is really bad so that is the specific setup that i use on each of these guns now i just want to go into more detail as to why i chose these guns for my perfect crucible pvp setup and what makes them so good so starting off with the last word I'll keep everything in order so it actually makes some kind of sense. In my opinion, the last word is the best PvP weapon in the game. Like, people might argue with me and say that Mythoclast and Hawkmoon and I think that's all people would- Oh, and Thorn are the best. I'm just gonna say nah. Nope. Nope. Go away. You're wrong. <laughs> No, I'm not going to say that. If that's your personal opinion and you find that a different weapon works better for you, then that's awesome. But the reason that I think the last word is the best PvP weapon is because one, for sure, no one can argue with me on this. For sure, it is the best 1v1 weapon. Like, you, you don't lose gunfight. It's so rare to lose a gunfight. Just a 1v1 straight up, you versus me. I'm a cowboy. You're a cowboy. <laughs> We're shooting guns. <laughs> If it's just a straight up 1v1, you will very, very rarely, if ever, lose those gunfights. Because the last word kills in, what, three shots? And it shoots faster than every other hand cannon. They just, they just drop. They're just like, boo, I'm alive, I'm gonna shoot you. I'm dead. Oops. Picked the wrong gunfight. So, in my opinion, the last word is the best weapon to use in the game, in the Crucible. I will always pick this weapon when I am struggling because I don't like to use the same weapons all the time but if I get into a lobby where I'm like oh oh for real oh for real you guys want to fight you like really want to fight okay 
I'll bring my last word, and then it's over. It's just completely over. It makes the game super easy. The last word's probably kind of overpowered, honestly, because it just makes the Crucible incredibly easy. Like, stupid easy. The game is on easy mode when you equip the last word. So that is my opinion. Of course, other people prefer other weapons, but for my playstyle especially, because I do like to be up in your face, and I'm definitely someone that rushes, the last word is really awesome for me because it kills super quickly and it's very good at a close range because it has increased accuracy when you hip fire, so you can hip fire super easily and it just mows people down. And the range isn't super crazy amazingly awesome on the last word, so you don't want to be like a Hawkmoon type player who sits back and is like shooting and sniping or whatever. You want to be in their face with the last word, and you will kill everyone, so you might as well run around and be in their face because you've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> now moving on to Two to the Morgue, which is the shotgun. Now I'm going to tell you guys a little story. It's not going to be super long because this, this video can't be like 20 minutes. But as soon as the DLC came out for the Dark Below, and I saw the new Crucible weapons, and I saw Two to the Morgue, I was like, getting that getting it getting that shotgun it's gonna be the best shotgun in the game and i got it and i was like well looky here somebody was correct <laughs> in my opinion of course of course i can only speak from my point of view i can't speak from everyone else's but two to the morgue is amazing and what makes it amazing is just the natural perks that it has on it it has the same perk as hawkmoon in terms of a random bullet in the clip will do bonus damage and it also makes you do bonus damage after you get a kill so if you start chaining those kills together plus you have the increased range and accuracy everyone's just dead they're just dead <laughs> there's there's nothing else to say you do more damage you have probably better range and accuracy than most of the shotguns out there they're just dead. It's just an absolutely amazing shotgun. If you are looking for a shotgun that will suit your playstyle no matter who you are, Two to the Morgue is definitely the one to go. You might not think it's amazing when you first get it and don't have any perks on it, but it gets super crazy amazing. Super crazy amazing. <laughs> and lastly, let's talk about Against All Odds. So the Against All Odds that I personally have is not the one that you buy from the Crucible. I got it from a random drop, but the one from the Crucible is really good too because it has persistence which means that when you fire the weapon the longer that you fire it the more accurate it gets so that deals with the stability problem and it also has field scout which makes you able to hold more ammo which is really good for this gun because it doesn't hold a crazy amount of ammo and then it also reduces the cooldown of your grenade every time you get a kill which isn't bad at all having more grenades is never a bad thing the one that i personally have just has quick reload like quickly reload all the time when the mag is empty you reload faster when you kill someone with the final clip uh, bullet bullet in the clip <laughs> you reload faster so it's just a reloading faster machine and luckily I do have the increased stability on it as well so I don't have to deal with the crazy stability but this freaking gun is amazing it just kills people really fast it has a very 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 fast kill rate like you maybe like two bullets two or three three at the very most and someone is just gone you can outgun pretty much every single heavy machine gun I have not come across one that has given me a problem anytime I see someone with a heavy machine gun I know they have heavy ammo and I'm like bring it on because I'm not gonna lose this gun fight it's just a really solid heavy machine gun so that is it for my complete setup with Zer having sold the last word and with these two weapons being available to purchase from the crucible master i'm hoping that all of you have the options or have had the options available to you to be able to fully complete this setup and try it out in the crucible if you don't have the crucible weapons i definitely recommend picking them up if you have some crucible marks that you are not currently using or anything so i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and i'll see you guys in the iron banner hopefully kicking some major booty booties booties butts <laughs> okay guys i love you bye